Yay. Plus twenty five up down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. Unfortunately, you did not blow up all the banshees. There I will be more. Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. There were no Ardat Yakshi left. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. Yay! More points for the war! Vidcom, you say? What's up, bro? Something you need to talk about? <laughs> Why does it tell me he's calling me up and then he won't talk and then he Any asks me? There's still the wild card here. Hitting the archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A way to defeat the Reapers. It didn't seem as if the elusive man was suggesting we appease them. Not like Saren did. You'd think we'd be on the same side, now more than ever. You're trying to take the Citadel by force like that. It doesn't make sense. And then attempting to derail your Turian Krogan alliance? That tells me their agenda has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. The elusive man talked about controlling the Reapers. He seemed to think that's how we win this. He's wrong. Dead Reapers are how we win this. Doesn't mean he won't try. If the elusive man is good at one thing, Question he's marks. finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, and it won't now. Reaper progress. Mm, yeah, I'm done. Nothing here. more, sir. Keep me posted. Pack it out. Okay, bye. Okay. Let's check my war assets. Yay! More Turian stuff. Sixth Fleet, yay. And then we got Asari stuff now, too. Yay. <laughs> Wait, there's actually more Asari stuff. Oh, yeah. Plus 25 for Samara. And then you. And then more Citadel, yeah. Citadel Defense Force points. All right. Time for more missions. We must do more. Oh my god, I've been streaming for almost two hours. Commander, Dr. Chakras sent word that she'd like Commander. Nice to see you again. Hello. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the war summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of her work. Thank what about the sex scene with the Banshee? Uh, still getting used to all they were all blown up. Sorry, man. We'd everything. Piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie, Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of the shoebox. Okay. I got shit that needs doing now. Oh man, I remember now. I have to make my way back to the mass relay. And I only have like 700 fuel. I don't know why. It feels so scary going there. Without, with that much fuel. Okay. We have more missions that need doing. But where? But why? Speak with the Quarians. Uh, what about some other side missions first? 
guess. I don't have much fuel. Let's head to the Citadel and then come back for fuel. I mean, then come back. Dock for like 30 seconds and then leave. <laughs> You're clear to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? No, I'm good. I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. Nothing's changed since I've been here, right? Except for that. Excuse me, Keeper. Have you discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an ether core private to love? No man. Miranda, Miss Lawson. Stop staring at that blast shit and get back to your job, damn it. I don't know what your job is, but get back to it. Nope, this way. I think. I think, I don't know, maybe. Maybe, yes, maybe, no, hmm. No, the Krogan are the only ways to find the toxic world, so they need support. Well, ideally, something like a cactus. They're good in mountains, immune to toxins, ferocious to mortals. Why are you staring at this door? What is so interesting about it? Do you see something I do not? Apparently no. Supposed to be some like cheesy uh I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. Okay. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Mm -hmm. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? When I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. Stopped? Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. 
This is what's been bothering you? Yes. <laughs> okay. I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how. You brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that ship. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No. They can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda. This thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. Okay, bye. Have fun doing whatever. Paragon points, yay! I don't know if all that time is worth four Paragon points. This is hard to watch. I'm in a pitch black room at the moment. Okay. I can't do that one. I can't do that one. Okay. Take me back to the docks. So is that the last I'll ever see of Miranda? Now arriving at docking bay D24. Cause that seemed like a, uh, a goodbye. I'd like to request a transfer to his no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, hold on, wait. So this very first one. I need to go to the Apian Crest. Where do I find this Apian Crest? None of these are the Apian Crest. Oh, here we are. Let's go say hi to the Reapers. They seem like nice fellas. Albion. Oh, hey. Indian Galax. Senius. Nope, 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 nope. Fly through the sun. Yes. Alright, there's a planet I'm missing. It's right here. Derek's. No. God damn it. Castellus. To the Castellus, wherever that may be. According to it, it's up here, but. It's an entire star system, it appears, which is not fun. Now it's that. Thank you. Okay.
I think I have to scan this area, which I don't want to do, because there's already Reapers here. Yeah, from the looks of it, this will be the case. Fun. Just check the planet, at least. Okay. Signal confirmed. Okay. I think I got it. Alrighty, we're done here. Fun. Are these red arrows reapers? Mm, not fun. We should be leaving now. I think we came from this way. <laughs>